safety. We're praying for our husband's safety. Thank God. Let's begin to thank God for how far he has brought us. Um, today is the ninth day. God has been faithful. He has strengthened us in the place of prayer. We are not tired. We are not weary. And the daily has been answering us as we have been calling upon him. Father, we ascribe all the glory to you. Accept our thanks and our praises in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the gathering of your daughters. We pray that, Lord, you will be with us as we come together to pray. We pray, Almighty God, that our prayers will ascend unto you as a sweet smelling savor. You will please hear and answer us in the name of Jesus. All our other sisters, the Lord, you have appointed to be on this call today. Father, please bring it to their remembrance in the name of Jesus. Order their footsteps here in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Okay, so today I said we're going to be praying for our husband's safety. I don't know how many of us were privileged to look at the, the materials on the platform earlier today. And then one of the verses that we looked at there was Psalm 121, verse 5. And it says, the Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Another one there says, Psalm 91, verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and fortress. My God in him I trust. I'm not sure, every, can everybody hear me? I don't want to. <laughs> if you can hear me, please say something in the comment section. I want to make sure that my audio is good and everybody can hear me. Yes, we hear you. Oh, okay, good. Thank you for that confirmation. Okay, so, um, okay, thank you, the dummy. Okay, so the material says that, okay, husbands as breadwinners will do everything possible within their power to give their families a comfortable life. Working more than one job sometimes. They are the first to go out of the door in the day and sometimes the last to return back to the house. They are constantly initiating businesses, meeting deadlines, making sacrifices, commuting from one place to the other. The safety of our husbands can actually be placed in the hands of the master who loves them more than we do. You know, I, I know that men are raised to always be in charge. They are raised to always take care of others, whether their mother or their siblings, or eventually when they marry their wives and their children. So they, they are raised to actually look out for others. And so you see them working, you know, hard, tooth and nail to make sure that they achieve all that they need to achieve. Sometimes, like I said, they're the first to go out in the night. Sometimes they're working more than one job one job at a time that times that you know they make so many sacrifices and you know in between all those things the safety is very paramount going out going out at the crack of the morning they are the first person that goes out and then they come back tired and fagged out who do we commit our husband's safety into into to help us take care of them it can only be god it can only be god because we are limited you know, concerning what we can do about that. We can only pray for them, but the Almighty God will continually watch over them and keep them safe. Reflection questions in the material says that, as your husband stayed out late at night, far beyond the regular time to return home, I can speak for my husband, it happens all the time. Like I said, there's sometimes there's so many deadlines that even they themselves don't have control over. And then how do you feel about that? Do you panic? Early in marriage, I won't lie. I used to panic. I'm always calling. Where are you now? Okay, you are here. Okay, be, be wary of that trouble spot. Too. You know that place is always traffic. I'm probably doing the Google map for him. Um, I, I checked on Google. I realized that there's traffic in this place. I'm helping him to make sure that he gets home in one piece. I used to worry. But thank God for the wisdom of God that has liberated us from that fear that we are convinced and assured of our husband's safety. So I can say that as women of God, we are relaxed. That when they go out, we have confidence in the word of God that they will return back home 
safe in the name of Jesus. He says that it is time to cover our husbands in all bases in prayer. Part of the reflection question also says that, what would you give or what would you do to make your husband's safety guaranteed? Thanksgiving or intercession? I'm choosing Thanksgiving. <laughs> as much as I will pray, I will just gladly thank God that I have confidence in his word, as I have said. I will keep giving thanks and I will surround him in intercession with the word of protection, just like we're about to do right now. And I pray that as we do this, the almighty God will help us to do it effectively in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God as we get into this session of prayers, that the almighty God, the Holy Spirit will help us to pray and pray right in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. I give you praise. Enter into his presence with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you, almighty God, on behalf of our husbands. We are so grateful. We are so thankful. We are so appreciative, oh God. Father, we say be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to be praying. We're going to be saying, Father, please protect our husbands in all their ways. As they walk, as they go out, as they come in, Jehovah, please watch over, over them in the name of Jesus. Guide them from every harmful situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are praying, oh God, this evening. We're praying at this point in time that almighty God, you will keep your eyes upon our husbands in the name of Jesus. In their going out and in their coming in, that Father, you will watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 121, 121 verse 8, that the Lord shall preserve us in our going out and in our coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Father, please preserve our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus, in their going out and in their coming in. Father, please pres preserve and protect them in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, please preserve and protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, please, we're asking that by your mercy, you will watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus. As they go out and as they come in, Father, we pray that your eyes will be upon them in the name of Jesus. Your hand will be mighty upon their lives in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with them as they go out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that no evil report shall be heard concerning our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will preserve and protect them from every form of accident in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, our husbands are commuting every day. Some are traveling, some are going by road. They are having different mediums of traveling. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will preserve them, whether on the land, on the sea, or in the air, oh God, that almighty God, you will watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will preserve them from every form of traveling accident in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes our husbands are going to work and it seems like a journey. They're going from one place to the other. It is no small feat because some people pass that same road and they don't have that same testimony of returning home safe. Father, we are asking, we are praying, oh God, for our husbands, oh God, as they journey to work, as they journey to their places of abode, their places of businesses, that Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will watch over them. You will watch over them. You will preserve them in the name of Jesus Christ from every kind of work accident in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you will preserve them from every kind of violence in the mighty name of Jesus. Your hand will be mighty upon their lives to save and to deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, please save our husbands in the name of Jesus. Father, please preserve our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Watch over them, O God, in the name of Jesus from every danger, seen and unseen, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, watch over our husbands from every danger, O God, seen and unseen, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that, Lord, you will continue to keep them in every circumstance, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, continue to keep our husbands in every circumstance, in every way, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, as a journey, O God, Father, through life, we pray that Lord, you will watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to be praying for our husbands. We're going to say that, Father, we entrust our husband into your care, oh God. We are fully convinced, oh God, that you will protect them from every evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we entrust all our husbands in your care, oh God. 
Father, we commit all our husbands into your care in the name of Jesus. Father, we are convinced, we're assured, oh God, that you will preserve them. You will protect them from every kind of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will pre preserve and protect them, oh God, from every kind of evil in the mighty name of Jesus. As they journey through life, oh God, Father, we pray that you will preserve them. Father, we pray that you will watch over them. With your right hand of righteousness, Father, you will uphold them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, Father, it shall be well. It shall be well with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that, Lord, you will secure them in the name of Jesus. Father, you will secure them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, when we hear of our husbands, oh God, it shall be for testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Father, it shall be for testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, it shall be for testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to be praying with Psalm 91. We say that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, is our refuge and our fortress. He is our God in whom we trust. We're going to be praying, my sisters, that the Lord Almighty will hide our husband in a secret place in the name of Jesus, far from every kind of danger, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will hide our husband from every kind of danger, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hide them in your secret place, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will hide our husbands in your secret place, in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be their refuge and their fortress, in the mighty name of Jesus, a safe and secure place, O oh God. Father, you will hide them in the mighty name of Jesus. Masike terebo roko son dore bobo shinda ya malagege. Masson tori karaba shinde regebo. Masson tori karaba shinde regebo roko son dore bobo shinde regebo. Maseke terebo higa higa makasara sokotan ya malagege. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that our husbands are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Yes, our husbands are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High and they are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, so it is concerning our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Our husbands, oh God, they are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. They are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty God. Yes, my husband is dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. He abides under the shadow of the Almighty God. We need to personalize it. My husband is dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. He abides under the shadow of the Almighty. I confess with my mouth that the Lord Almighty is my husband's refuge and he is fortress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, hide my husband in your secret place. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep him safe, oh God. Keep him safe, oh God, from every danger. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah, preserve and protect him, oh God, from every kind of danger. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 11 says that, for he will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all, our, in all your ways. We're praying for our husbands, that in the name of Jesus, the angels of the Most High God will be in charge of our husbands in the name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty has promised in his word that he will give his angels charge over our husbands. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. The Almighty God will give his angels charge over our husbands to keep them in all their ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That as they go out, oh God, to look for their daily bread. Father, they will not be prey for the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, they will not be prey for the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, they will not be prey for the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I had a story of a man that was going to work one morning. And you know, he had an accident. A, 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 a small accident with a commercial driver. And then he came down from the car and he kept on arguing, arguing with the man. The children were in the car. Apparently, he was taking the children to school. They were in the car. But because the man and the, 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 the commercial driver was having an argument, he left the children in the car unattended to. And he came out and he continued arguing with this, with this commercial driver. He continued arguing and arguing. And the children were crying, Daddy, it's okay, it's okay. But the man was not listening. He wasn't even hearing it. He was well-dressed. He was wearing a suit. So obviously he was supposed to drop the children in school and also now go to work. Along the line, there was a distraction with the commercial driver. As he was arguing with the commercial driver, the man, the commercial driver got into his bus and he ran away. The man started chasing the commercial driver. Sadly, as he was chasing the commercial driver, another car came from the opposite direction. 
and hit this man. He hit this man. This man did not get to his destination of, you know, taking the children to school. Neither did he get to his destination of getting to the office. I pray that will not be the, the portion of our husbands in the name of Jesus Christ. That the almighty God will keep them in the name of Jesus. When they set their foot outside to go about their daily activities, the almighty God will give his angels charge over them in the name of Jesus. Every form of devilish destruction, the almighty God will stay the hand of the enemy concerning our husbands in the name of Jesus. As they go about their daily activities in the name of Jesus, Father, as they go about to look for what to eat, they will not see that which will eat them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will give your angels charge concerning our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as they set their foot out, even to go about their daily activities, Father, we'll pray in the name of Jesus that you will give your angels charge over our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. You will give your angels charge over our husbands to keep them in all their ways in the name of Jesus, to keep them in all their ways in the name of Jesus, that every plan of the enemy, every distracting plan of the evil one, it will not come to pass concerning our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, their safety is secured in Christ Jesus. Father, you will preserve and you will protect them in the name of Jesus. As they go out, oh God, you will preserve them. As they come in, oh God, they will you will preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Verse 15 of that same Psalm 91 says that as they call upon you, the Lord Almighty, you will answer them. You will be with them in trouble. You will deliver them and you will honor them. That is our prayer this morning, this evening, this time in the name of Jesus. That as, as, as our husbands call, call upon the name of the Lord, that the Almighty God will hear and he will answer them. In the name of Jesus, he will be with them in trouble. In the name of Jesus, the almighty God will hear and will honor their words in the mighty name of Jesus. I know a lot of times our husbands, you know, we do morning devotion. We pray that, Lord, as we go out today, Father, please go with us. As we come back, Father, please continue with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring us back in safety. You know, we pray God is a faithful God. I believe that God hears and answers our prayer. That's what we're still going to pray. We're going to say that, Father, as our husbands pray, as they call upon you, Father, please honor their word in the name of Jesus. As they seek you as their refuge and their safety, Father, please honor your word in their lives in the name of Jesus. Honor your word in their lives in the name of Jesus. Be their safety, be their security in the mighty name of Jesus. As they call upon you, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will be with them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 46 verse 1 says that God is our refuge, our strength, a very present help in time of need. For some of us that live in Nigeria, where I presently, where I presently am right now, there's so many cases of insecurity. People go out in the morning and they're not assured of coming back. It is that bad. I don't know what part of the world that you are in. Only God can guarantee safety. Sometimes, you know, you just go to the mall, God forbid, there's some random shooting somewhere. There's some things that we do not plan for, but then it happens. I pray that we will not be widows in the name of Jesus. I pray that the lives of our husbands will not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray that the almighty God will be the refuge and the strength of our husbands in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be their very present help in time of need in the name of Jesus Christ. We've seen cases of where husbands were kidnapped and ransom was demanded. And even after those ransoms were paid at the end of the day, they still ended the lives of those people. I pray that that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, you will not make that to be our portion in the name of Jesus. And peradventure, there are wives or there are families that are going through the same challenge at this point in time, that the Almighty God will send help to them in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray for our husbands in the name of Jesus Christ, that the Almighty God will be their very, very present help in time of need, in the name of Jesus Christ. The almighty God will be their very present help in time of need, in the name of Jesus. As they call upon the name of the Lord, they will be saved in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. The name of the Lord, a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord, 
a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are safe. Let us pray that the name of the Lord would indeed be a strong tower for our husbands in the name of Jesus. As they are speaking, as they are calling upon the name of the Lord, the Lord will hear, the Lord will answer them. He will save them, he will deliver them. In the mighty name of Jesus, safety in their going out and in their coming in, safety in their workplace, oh God. Father, safety in their businesses, safety in their decision making, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that as they call upon you, that the name of the Lord indeed will be a strong tower for all our husbands in the name of Jesus. Father, you said you will never leave us or, or forsake us. Father, we pray that as our husbands call upon you, Father, you will honor your word in their lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will honor your word in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Jehovah you will honor your word in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says that you are my hiding place you will protect me from all trouble and you will surround me with your songs of deliverance let us begin to pray that the almighty God will protect our husbands from all troubles in the name of Jesus <laughs> trouble abounds everywhere trouble abounds everywhere I remember the story of a man of God that had a counseling to do for a single woman. And then the man said, he, 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 somebody came to him, a lady came to him and said, Pastor, please, I need to speak to you urgently. I have, a, I have a burden in my heart. And then, you know, the pastor had said, okay, come in, come in, come in. And then the spirit of God told him, you know what? Leave the door open. Leave the door open. So that whatever would transpire in this office will be open to all. Apparently, the lady that came for counseling had an ulterior motive. And then, you know, when she sat down and then she started talking, I started making gestures, you know, and, you know, the person now binded her and said, in the name of Jesus, I bind you. Whatever your mission is here, I bind you in the name of Jesus. That was trouble for that pastor. That was trouble for that man of God. Hmm. Our husband... <laughs> different areas of their life whether it is ministry whether it is in their businesses whether it is in their workplace and they need to take a decision and then you know the enemy sets trap for them and they are waiting for them to take that decision that will lead to their downfall hmm. i pray that the name of the lord will continually be a source of safety for our husbands in the name of jesus trouble abounds everywhere Trouble abounds even for the, for the children of God. The Bible says that in the world we will have tribulation. Tribulation, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I want us to pray for all our husbands. In everywhere they find themselves, that the Almighty God will deliver them from all troubles in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, deliver our husbands from all troubles in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, whether spiritually, whether in their ministries, whether in their businesses, whether in their workplace, Father, whether in whatever it is that they have that they find themselves or whatever they lay their hands to do, Father, please deliver our husbands in the name of Jesus from every kind of trouble, seen and unseen in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, deliver our husbands from every kind of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every plan of the enemy concerning our husbands. Let them be brought to naught in the name of Jesus. Father, let not the plan of the enemy prosper concerning them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all our husbands, oh God, that Lord, you will deliver them. Father, you will save them. You will deliver them. You will make a way of escape for them in the mighty name of Jesus. From every form of trouble, from every gang up, oh God, Father, make a way of escape for our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, make a way of escape for them, for all our husbands in the name of Jesus. Make a way of escape for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver them from every kind of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, deliver them from every kind of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, deliver all our husbands, oh God, from every kind of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. We're still praying. We're going to pray that the Lord Almighty will keep our husband in perfect peace. Even as they keep their minds on him, the almighty God will keep our husbands in perfect peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As they trust him, as they believe in him, as they entrust their lives in his care, 
the almighty God will keep our husbands in perfect peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please keep our husbands in perfect peace in the mighty name of Jesus. And they're going out and in their coming in. We ask of you by your mercy, O God. Father, please keep our husbands in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, please keep our husbands in perfect peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant our husband the grace to trust you in all things in the mighty name of Jesus. The arm of flesh will fail you. That is what the word of the Lord says. If you trust in man, you will be disappointed. Your safety net will give way in the mighty name of Jesus. Your safety net will give way. I pray that that will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We have seen men. We have seen men that have trusted in their best friends. We have seen men that have entrusted their lives in the hands of others, believing that, you know, they will be there for you. They say, ah, my G, my G, I know he's got my back always. Only God, only God has got our back 100%. It is better to take refuge in the Lord. That is what the Bible says. It is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in the arm of flesh. He has then told us in his word that the arm of flesh will fail us. Men will disappoint us. Their safety net or their anchor will give way. That is what the Bible tells us. Let us begin to pray that God will grant our husbands the grace to trust in the Lord as their security, as at all times in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God will pray that you grant our husbands the grace, the enablement to trust you with their safety and their security in the name of Jesus. We've heard of stories of men who were envious of their friends and they decided to take them out of their way to move up in life. I pray that will not be the portion of our husbands in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that that will not be the portion of our husbands in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that Lord Almighty, you grant our husbands the grace to trust only in you in the mighty name of Jesus. To trust only in you. To make you alone their security in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I also want us to pray very quickly for ourselves as wives. That Lord, make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, I pray that you will make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. We see that sometimes men want to share things. They want to make us their keeper of secrets. Some things have not fully manifested. And he said, my wife, please, can we pray about this? And along the line, you see the wife sharing it with their mothers, sharing it with their siblings. And the testimony that has not fully manifested already becomes truncated before even sees the light of day. Are you your husband's safe place? Can your husband trust you with information, with secrets? Can he trust you even in things that he believes that you alone is his, is his place of comfort and refuge? Can he trust you in the time of his sickness? Can he trust you in the time of his weakness? Hmm. Say, Father, Make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me my husband's safe place that even when he goes out and he comes back, he knows he's coming to a safe place. He knows he's coming to a home that is filled with love, a heaven in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me my husband's safe place in the name of Jesus, devoid of every rancor devoid of argument, devoid of every strife in the name of Jesus. As my husband goes out in search of what he will bring to the table for the family, when he comes home, oh God, make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for myself that Lord, you will make me my husband's safe place in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, you will make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, you will make me my husband's safe place in the mighty name of Jesus. A place of comfort, a place of security, a place of comfort, a place of strength in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you all the honor and adoration. Thank you, Father, because our husband's safety and security is secured in Christ Jesus. Is secured in Christ Jesus. We do not fear, oh God, that when they go out, they are coming back safely in the name of Jesus. 
we will not run from pillar to post concerning our husbands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will not be afraid or fearful concerning our husband's safety and security in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we have spoken in your ears concerning our husbands, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, Lord, for hearing and for answering us. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, sisters, for joining us today. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's day night today, and then we're still continuing in the place of prayer. I want to, I'm reminding us to please, you know, invite our friends, send them the link, let them join the WhatsApp platform and, you know, interact with, we're learning a lot. Already Dami has said she's coming back to share some amazing things. So let's get into the platform, let's interact, let's share our learnings together. And I pray that the Lord Almighty, you know, will continue to meet us at the point of our needs. He will continue to hear us, he'll make us better wives as we know, labor in the place of prayer. We will not labor in vain in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for joining in. God bless everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.